Okay, for problems like this, I say find all real values of x such that this expression over here would equal the number 1. And my, my first thing, in assumption over here, is that lots of people do these problems, they always miss something in the problem. It does happen, by the way. People miss things, all right? So what I would basically probably do is just make the base equal to 1. Because 1 to any power is going to be 1, all right? So is it easy to make the base equal to 1? It's fairly easy, by the way. You just set it equal to 1. You write this down, x squared minus 10x plus 26 over 5. That equals 1. It's a relatively simple equation to solve, by the way. What do you get? x squared minus 10x plus 26 is equal to uh, 5. Subtract 5 from both sides. What do you get there? Plus 21. And again, you hope for an easy, you really do hope for something easy, by the way. This looks like uh, 3 and 7. So I'll go to 7 and a 3. It looks like minus, minus. So I'm going to say x equals 7, x equals 3. Now what does this produce? A base of 1. And 1 to any power, I don't care what those uh, numbers are up there, it's going to give you 1. So 7 and 3 are answers, by the way. Let me highlight for you, right over here. And again, there's work down over here. I'm just talking through the work. I'm going to erase the work now. And when we're done with that part there. Now my next part, I'm not going to erase the answers, by the way. The next part is to make the base equal to minus 1. Now, you may wonder why that is, because minus 1 to even powers would be equal to 1. So I'll make the base minus 1 now. We'll put this down. x squared minus 10x plus 26 over 5 equals minus 1. Well, this looks pretty easy to solve, too, by the way. So minus 10x plus 26 equals minus 5. And then you get x equals, well, not x equals, but this is x squared minus 10x plus 31 equals 0. I can't use my finger numbers for that, but I can use quadratic formula. And x is going to be equal to, let's see, the bottom is going to be 2. Uh, what do you get on top? Uh, that's going to be the opposite of that, uh, minus 10, which is 10, plus or minus. So it just doesn't look good. Let's see, 100 minus 4 times 1 times 31. Well, what I know about this over here, it's complex. So this one's out of the question. I don't have to look at it anymore. It's just a complex number. Don't need to look at it. Now, granted, I noticed in my notes over here, I did simplify this thing over here. I don't think that's essential, but let me go through that with you. What do you get over here? x equals 10, plus or minus. This is a 2. This would be minus. Well, 4 times 31 is going to be, um, let's see, that's going to be... Um, uh, 124, so minus 24. This is not adding anything to the problem, by the way. 10 plus or minus, this is a 2. There's a 4 and 24, uh, and there's also a minus 1. So it's going to be 2i, and that's going to be 6. So what do you have there? You get 5 plus or minus i root 6, which is what I have over here, by the way. But again, for, for it to be minus 1, there's no solution to that over there. So you might say it's a dead end. You only have two solutions here. And we we'll start to erase things again. So that's done. And again, the work is there for Now someone says, how else could you make it uh, equal to 1? Uh, what you do is you take this power now and set that equal to 0. All right? Now, th these numbers over here, uh, you, you want that to be a number raised to the 0 power would equal 1. So let's take a look at that. And we'll be careful about this one, too. So x squared minus 6x plus 5 equals 0. Well, let's write this down. This is a factor, but it looks like an easy one. Probably the first one a lot of students would have attempted, by the way. And you get 5 and 1 uh, minus minus x equals 1, x equals 5. All right, so 1 and 5. All right, so I got two more answers, by the way. So we got these two answers here, and I got the two additional answers over here. The two additional answers are going to be x equals, let me get my eraser in, need to do that x equals uh, 1. Let me erase this too, by the way. Now, certainly, if you want to plug it in, you can. It's a nice number, by the way. It's, you know, 1 minus 10 plus 26. Nice number. And the 5 is also a nice number. I did it again. So we have four separate answers, by the way. What are the answers going to be? Well, we're going to get 1, 3, 5, and 7. 1, 3, 5, 7. All right? It's not a bad problem. I also provided a graph for you, all right? Now, someone said, why the graph? I, I was kind of interested in it. it. Certainly, we have technology, and we should be using that technology to sort of like to um, satisfy our um, inclination that we're correct. And so what I did was I graphed it out. What did I graph out? 
I actually graphed out this thing. Now granted, I, I wouldn't want to do this by hand, but I graphed it out so the magenta cover curve, and then I graphed out y equals one. That's right over here. Is there points of intersection? I see them here, 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 and here. Were those numbers at the number one, at the number three, at the number five, and at the number seven? So one, three, five, and seven. As stated, one, three, five, and seven. It supports us. Thank you.